Right now at noon, the 18-year-old victim of a homicide on Madison's east side has been identified. This is authorities look for a suspect. And Wisconsin and the United States continue to hit milestones when it comes to the coronavirus. We'll have the latest numbers of positive cases. This is News 3 Now at noon. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mark Kane. Thanks for tuning in to News 3 Now on this Friday, the unofficial 4th of July holiday. Thanks for joining us. Another hot and sunny day today, and we have alert days in the forecast for the heat and humidity. Let's head to the Weather Center. Meteorologist Dana Fulton has a look at your first warned forecast. Another hot one. Another hot one. I think a lot of people are kicking off the 4th of July holiday weekend a little early. The newsroom's kind of empty right now. Right now, we have a partly sunny sky. Here's a live look downtown with our Edgewater Sky Cam. Temperature-wise, we're already at 87 degrees. This time yesterday, Yesterday we were in the mid 80s, so we've, we've climbed up a few more degrees. We'll get close to 90 for afternoon highs. Dew points are in the low 60s, so it does feel muggy outside. Radar is quiet, but there is a slight chance for an isolated shower or thunderstorm over the next few hours. Again, temperatures will peak in the low 90s today. And we do have alert days of the forecast for tomorrow and Sunday. We'll be back in the 90s, but it is going to be a little more humid outside for the weekend. And with more folks being out and about, we just want to make sure that everyone stays hydrated with some water and also uh, takes caution to be careful out in all of that sunshine for the weekend. We'll take a closer look at what's ahead for the following week with some rain chances in just a few minutes. Mark. All right, we'll see you then. Thank mm -hmm. you, Dana. Authorities have identified the victim killed Tuesday after being shot at a hotel on Madison's east side. The Dane County Medical Examiner's Office says the the victim is 18-year-old Dembo Jama of Madison. Officers were called to the Red Roof Inn on Hayes Road Tuesday night. Police say Jama was found in the parking lot with a gunshot wound. Violent crime unit detectives believe Jama was specifically targeted. Police officers are looking for a suspect. Those with information on the shooting are encouraged to call Madison Area Crime Stoppers. Fire crews responded to a house fire in Marshall this morning. It happened in the 500 block of Hubble Street just before 10 o'clock. The Marshall Police Chief says that no one was in the home at the time of the fire. The cause remains under investigation. Five construction workers were taken to the hospital with carbon monoxide poisoning after an incident at a daycare center in Mount Horeb yesterday. The fire chief says the leak at Heart and Hands Child Care Center happened from tools construction workers were using. Everyone was evacuated and tested. We have officially hit over 30,000 positive coronavirus cases in Wisconsin. This comes as Dane County confirms another 96 positive cases in the county. Health officials say 30,005 people in Wisconsin have tested positive, while 796 people have died. Over 80% of the confirmed cases have recovered. For the second day in a row, the U.S. set a record for new coronavirus cases, with more than 52,000 new infections reported Thursday. Florida alone recorded more than 10,000 cases. The news comes as we head into the 4th of July weekend when health experts are concerned holiday crowds could help fuel the spread even more. Chris Martinez reports from Los Angeles. Beaches are closed in Miami-Dade and the city is under a 10 p.m. curfew as coronavirus spreads in Florida at an alarming rate. Right now, we are heading a million miles per hour in the wrong direction. With Florida hitting more than 10,000 cases in a single day, Governor Ron DeSantis is urging those most at risk to be careful over the 4th of July holiday. Do your best to avoid crowds and, and minimize close contact with people outside your home right now. Hospitalizations hit record highs in Texas on Thursday. COVID-19 is not going away. In fact, it's getting worse. Texas is now mandating face masks in counties that have more than 20 confirmed cases. It's also banning public gatherings of more than 10 people. It is what it is. I guess we gotta be safe. Cases are up nearly 50% here in California over the past two weeks. Several cities are fining people who don't wear masks. In Santa Monica, fines start at $100. Should have been happening a while ago. And a husband and wife in Topeka, Kansas, who were married nearly 60 years, died of the virus less than two days apart. It's a blessing that they were both called home to, to heaven within 30 hours. The daughters of Sandy and Gary Schaffner shared a photo of them in the hospital and hopes people take the virus seriously. Chris Martinez, CBS News, Los Angeles.
As people in Madison celebrate the 4th of July this weekend, they will be able to head out to the beaches. According to the city, a beach will be open when swim ropes are in place. The beach is cleaned by staff and the water, the water quality is deemed acceptable by the Public Health Madison and Dane County. The city's website said due to limited staffing, no lifeguards will be on duty at the beaches and restrooms will remain closed. A list of city beaches can be found on our website, channel3000.com. Well, airports and airlines expect the 4th of July weekend to be the busiest travel day since mid-March, but passenger traffic is down about 75% from last year. Every airline does social distancing differently. There are no regulations requiring an airline to do it. United notifies flyers when the plane is more than 70% full, allowing them to change. United says only about 2% of flyers change their flights. And Green Bay Packers managers say fans may not be able to attend games this season. The organization says it remains optimistic, but there is a possibility that Lambeau Field will be unable to host fans this season. If fans are able to attend, they'll be required to wear face coverings. Asking season ticket holders to begin considering their options for the season, asking them to opt in, which will give them a chance to reserve tickets this year. Those who choose to opt out will have their 2020 payment refunded or credited to 2021. The Washington Redskins say they will undergo a thorough review of the team's name. This comes as FedEx, which has naming rights to the stadium, requested that the team change the name. Sponsors Nike and Pepsi also are under pressure to sever ties with the team unless they change their name. And the film version of the hit Broadway musical Hamilton premieres on Disney Plus today. Tickets for the Broadway production were incredibly hard to get, but fans can now enjoy the movie version from the comfort of their homes. Like the play, the film stars Lin-Manuel Miranda in the lead role. He's also the creator of the Pulitzer Prize winning musical, which has also won 11 Tony Awards. The movie's theatrical release was initially set for October of 2021. The studio opted to release the film early on its subscribing streaming service amid the coronavirus pandemic. There's more to come on News 3 Now at noon. Up next, we'll see what Howard's working on in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. It's as all-American as hot dogs and apple pie. What is it? The only way to find out is to join us in the Test Kitchen. Saturday, July 4th only. Don't miss Ashley Home Store's Mattress Marathon One Day Sale. Pay as little as $22 a month for Tempur-Pedic. Doorbuster Queen Mattresses are just $95 while they last. Only at Ashley Home Store. From a checkup to an emergency visit, SSM Health is ready to provide the high-quality care you've come to expect. And all our facilities are prepared to keep patients safe, in person or online. We're here. Schedule a visit today. You may not know them. The coffee shop owner who knows your order. The couple who saves your seats. The family down the street who greets you with a smile. They've been there for you. Now you can be there for them. Donate today and help our friends and neighbors keep their power on. Throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, Baca Enterprises is truly humbled and thankful to all of our employees, residents, families, and vendors for their patience and cooperation. Our employees have gone above and beyond with sanitation efforts, altering their daily routines, all while spreading joy and happiness throughout our community. As you look forward to the future, Beaver Dam Assisted Living will be here for you. To provide a sense of security and to provide comfort by keeping you safe and healthy. Together, we're moving forward to help you live life with confidence. Call today to schedule your tour. Getting your air ducts thoroughly cleaned takes the trained professionals at Stanley Steamer using the most powerful equipment to get the most powerful results. Our equipment goes deep inside your ducts, removing years of dirt, pet hair, allergens, even dust mites. Unlike other air duct cleaning companies, Stanley Steamer cleans your entire system. Just look at how much dirt can be removed. Call today for a free inspection and save $50 on a cleaning. Stanley Steamer gets your home. Relax, unwind, remain safe and secure in a new bath, shower, or walk-in tub from Mad City Baths, Wisconsin's number one ranked remodeler. Now during our summer spectacular sale, get a new bath or shower for only $49.95. Ask about great financing and call during this program for a free $100 Walmart or Amazon gift card with your in-home estimate. And be sure to ask about virtual online estimates.
Ashley Home Store's 4th of July one-day sale is Saturday only. Save up to 60% off store-wide. Plus, take a bonus 10% off our sale prices at checkout with no minimum purchase. And interest-free financing for three years. Saturday only at Ashley Home Store. This is home. If you're like me, then you're certainly looking forward to the long weekend. And no matter what you've got planned, whether it's heading to the beach, working around the house, or just vegging out, I bet somewhere in those plans is some kind of barbecue or meal that is 4th of July special. And no matter if you're having ribs or chicken or hot dogs, nothing goes better with them than old-fashioned coleslaw. Let me show you how easy. We start off one of two ways, either by shredding a head of cabbage and grating some carrots, or the shortcut way, by simply using a bag of coleslaw mix. Once that's ready, we mix some mayo along with a healthy splash of apple cider vinegar, a bit of sugar, and a little salt and pepper. Now, we toss the dressing with the cabbage. I actually like to use my hands for this, and I sort of squeeze the cabbage, especially if it's hand cut. Don't ask me why, it just seems to taste better. And although this is so simple, it's all about having the right balance between the tartness of the vinegar, and the sweetness of the sugar. So don't dilly-dally. Go online right after the news and get the recipe for our two minutes law so you'll have plenty of time to celebrate our nation's independence. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found an all-American way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. All right, Howard, thank you. There's more to come on News Street Now at noon. Your 4th of July weekend is going to be a hot one as we have two alert days of the forecast for the heat and humidity. Meteorologist Dana Fulton has more ahead in your first warm forecast. Ashley Home Store's 4th of July one-day sale is Saturday only. Save up to 60% off store-wide. Plus, take a bonus 10% off our sale prices at checkout with no minimum purchase. And interest-free financing for three years. Saturday only at Ashley Home Store. This is home. I am crushing this to-do list. Let me see. Smart home upgrade? Mm -hmm. Home gym? Check. What about the window, siding, and doors? Uh... Cross something important off your list. Free installation on all windows, siding, and doors. And no interest for one year. The biggest sale of the year is here. Free installation ends soon. Call now. For quality windows, siding, and doors, call 866 for felt co Aloha, I'm Gary Canulty, inviting News 3 Now viewers to join me on a fabulous tour to the Hawaiian Islands October 14th to the 23rd. Enjoy the wonderful attractions and tropical scenery on Oahu, Kauai, and Maui. We'll pay our respects at Pearl Harbor, view the majestic landscapes of Waimea Canyon, and discover unique sea life at the Maui Ocean Center. Our vacation includes all airfare, resort hotels, and more. For your free brochure, call Holiday Vacations at 1-800-826-2266. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I solemnly swear that I will support the veterans of the United States Armed Forces. I will defend the Constitution against all enemies that I will commit to ensuring they are not forgotten. And I will enable veterans to live the same life of opportunity they have provided me. So help me God. Saturday, July 4th only. Don't miss Ashley Home Store's Mattress Marathon one-day sale. Pay as little as $22 a month for Tempur-Pedic. Doorbuster Queen mattresses are just $95 while they last. Only at Ashley Home Store. Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Well, stock market optimism rests on shaky ground and Legos for grown-ups assembled into works of art. Naomi Ruckham has more in today's Money Watch report. Investors
investor optimism hit a record low in the second quarter. According to the Wells Fargo Gallup Investor and Retirement Optimism Index, confidence plunged 134 points in May, the lowest in nearly seven years. It's an about face from the first quarter of 2020 when optimism hit a 20-year high. Federal student loan rates are reaching new historic lows. The interest rate for undergraduates stands at 2.75% for the 2020-2021 academic year. That's down from 4.53% last year. The drop reflects the Federal Reserve's incentive to slash short-term interest rates close to 0% amid ongoing economic fallout from the coronavirus. Air travel may be making a comeback, at least for this holiday weekend. American Airlines says yesterday was the busiest day for the company since lockdowns began nationwide. It's almost a 900% increase from its slowest day back in April. Still, the number of customers was down 65% compared to the same time last year. And Lego is getting into the portrait building business. Lego art features four sets that recreate pop culture icons like the Beatles, Marilyn Monroe, Star Wars villains, and Iron Man. Each set includes a curated building soundtrack for maximum artistic inspiration. The adult-focused art sets will cost 120 bucks each, and they are slated to launch in the U.S. on September 1st. And that's your CBS Money Watch report. For more, head to cbsmoneywatch.com. I'm Naomi Ruckham. No stocks or egg numbers, but we do have the weather. Here's Dana. It is warm outside today, but thankfully we do have some sunshine along with that. Looking in Platteville right now, some clouds, a little bit of cloud coverage, a little bit of sun, uh, partly sunny skies for this afternoon. Uh, we're expecting our current conditions to stay uh, pretty stiff, steady in the upper 80s. So 87 right now for us, those dew points again in the low 60s with a light breeze coming out of the northwest. We're going to keep a close eye on our radar this afternoon right now. Now it does look quiet, but there is a slight chance for a shower or thunderstorm to pop up later on today. Uh, not looking at a great opportunity for a lot of rain, though. Some isolated areas could see a few showers passing through. Dry for this weekend and then a warm trend continuing from this weekend into next week. That just rolls on temperatures above average for the next uh, foreseeable future, really. Over through the afternoon of partly sunny skies. Again, a slight chance for a shower or thunderstorm to pass through later today. For your Saturday for the 4th of July, mostly sunny skies and then partly sunny skies building in on a Sunday. Sunday later in the day we could see some showers developing for areas northwest of Dane County but that will be again later in the day on Sunday Sunday night heading into Monday our temperature trends still very consistently above average into the middle of July that's our 6 to 10 day outlook and our 8 to 14 day outlook um, if you are trying to travel anywhere even though that is certainly discouraged know that we're not alone in this warm trend as you can see it covers all of the Midwest uh, most of the plains all of the East Coast we're all seeing temperatures above average we do have those alert days in the forecast for tomorrow and for Sunday. It is going to be very hot and humid outside. High temperatures will be in the low 90s for the next two days. Heat index readings ranging from the mid to upper 90s could get close to the triple digits, so it could feel very, very humid at times, very warm at times. A good reminder, of course, to drink plenty of water this weekend, and if you're outside under the sun, make sure that you're using plenty of sunscreen heading outside, even if you're only out there for a little bit, and have a backup plan, a place where you can go and cool down. Uh, sunshine for the next several hours and then later on today we have that slight chance for some showers and thunderstorms developing high temperatures will be close to 94 this afternoon so we're going to warm up a few more degrees low 90s for Saturday and Sunday alert days for the next two days Monday we're still in the low 90s temperatures from Tuesday through the end of the week into the following weekend staying in the upper 80s with overnight lows only dropping to the upper 60s. There will be a slight chance for showers late in the day on Monday, a better chance for showers and thunderstorms stretching from Tuesday through Friday. Plenty of dry time mixed in there as well, but the rain chances will be developing almost every afternoon and evening. The following weekend at this time, likely that we will be staying dry outside. Uh, so again, for your 4th of July weekend, we can't stress enough. It is going to be very hot outside. I know a lot of folks trying to get a little bit of time on the water. Uh, it would be a great way to cool down. It is above average to hit 91 for the 4th of July. Uh, so make sure you stay hydrated and have some place where you can cool down. I know where I'll be.
Water? In my basement. Oh. <laughs> in the man cave. Hiding. Watching but movies. Isn't it crazy, though? As soon as you go down the stairs, the temperature just drops. It's Our second floor right now is is like 15 degrees hotter than the main floor. It's, but it's, you have air on the main floor. We have air on the, we have air on both. And the, so the upper yeah. has been running nonstop. So <laughs> it's yeah. been, it's, but you go downstairs to do the laundry into the basement. Oh, the stone's nice and well, cool. Mine's all, all finished. So I'm, See, that's I'm, I'm where good. I need a Dana cave, a Dana and Penny cave down there. I got the Lola, Louie, and Mark cave downstairs. Okay, good. <laughs> Well, I'll be if you need me. <laughs> All right, we'll hunt you down. <laughs> Ahead on News Now at Noon, Angie Horkin from the Wisconsin Beef Council is here. She is sharing a recipe for a steak salad that's perfect for the 4th of July. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. RHD Plumbing has the most reliable professionals in the industry. With honesty you can trust to deliver quality products and workmanship. Dedicated to being the best. RHD Plumbing now offers complete bathroom and kitchen remodeling, the best plumbers, and everything else you need to finish your dream project. For your home or business, get the job done right the first time with no surprises. With the reliable, honest, and dedicated plumbing professionals of RHD Plumbing, proudly serving all of Dane County. Save big money on your next project with 11% off everything now at Menards. Over 45 in-stock Patriot lighting ceiling fans are 11% off. The Tisbury 2 ceiling fan has traditional styling with LED bulbs that use up to 86% less energy. $59.98 after 11% off. Status indoor outdoor carpet is perfect for sunrooms, porches, and decks. It's durable, stain-resistant, and easy to install. All 11% off. Stop waiting and start saving with 11% off everything now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. It's Steinhoffel's 4th of July mattress sale. Right now, get any size Sealy mattress for 99 bucks. We have purple hybrid mattresses in stock with free sheets and a pillow. Plus, save up to $800 on the largest selection of the best mattress brands, including our Dreams Cool Copper mattress sets. Get up to $300 in Steinhoffel's cash with any Tempur-Pedic, Beautyrest, Stearns & Foster mattresses. Plus, get free next day delivery and 0% financing for 60 months. Shop Steinhoffel's 4th of July mattress sale. Non-attorney spokesperson. This is a paid advertisement for legal services sponsored by Nightline Legal. Cases assigned on a random basis to participating law firms. Attention e-cigarette users. The use of e-cigarette vaping devices such as Juul has been linked to serious health effects, especially in teens and young adults. If you or your child used a vaping device and suffered lung damage, seizures, nicotine poisoning, addiction, or any other serious health problem, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Call 1-800-624-9726. That's 1-800-624-9726. If you have a fear of overpaying, you have FOOP. But don't worry, U.S. Cellular has your back with the Samsung Galaxy S25 G. Free when you switch, plus no activation fees. Stream without disruption, capture and post without restriction, and do it all without FOOP. Switch and get a free Samsung Galaxy S25 G at U.S. Cellular. Choose fair. Angie Horkin from the Wisconsin Beef Council is here, and she is sharing a recipe for a steak salad that's perfect for the 4th of July. Angie? Hi, Mark. I'm out here grilling on my patio. I wish I was there with you guys, but um, hopefully I will be soon. So July is National Steak Month, so grill like you mean it this month. Um, go to the store, get some steaks. Uh, we've got some really fun kind of different out-of-the-box grilling recipes. So instead of just our traditional hamburgers, broths, hot dogs, um, we're gonna step it up a notch. And since 4th of July is this weekend, I've got a salad that we call our red, white, and beef salad. So I actually have um, two, these are petite sirloins, but the recipe calls for um, top round. Keep an open mind when you're making steak recipes this month. A lot of our recipes like our salads and our grilled pizzas and kebabs, um, you can swap in different cuts. So um, just check out our website. We've got a simple steak swap PDF there. Um, but then other, other steaks that would work great in a salad would be just a regular top sirloin. Um, but then when you do use the top round, you want to marinate it um, in salsa. That's what we're going to use. Just plain jarred salsa as our marinade. So and these sirloin, petite sirloins, I'll still marinate. Um, 
15 minutes up to two hours just for flavor but if you do want to marinate for tenderness I advise just marinating 24 hours so the night before you're gonna grill and make your recipe um, do your marinade so I just got a nice glass dish here of course you could use um, a baggie a throwaway baggie but I like using this glass dish when I'm at home try not use um, a metal dish because your acidic ingredient in your salsa or your marinade, if you're using a citrus juice or wine or vinegar, could react with your metal. So a nice glass dish or just a throwaway baggie is perfect plastic bag. So I'm just gonna put on a cup of jarred prepared salsa on the my steaks. So those are um, either let them sit 15 minutes ready for the grill or if you're using a steak that needs to be tenderized like that top round that flank or skirt um, put the lid on put it in the refrigerator overnight okay so i'm doing my salad so i've got um just some nice romaine lettuce use whatever kind of lettuce you want we're gonna add uh some black beans to our salad just drained and rinsed so about a cup of frozen corn thawed and then my steaks. So I grilled these um, petite sirloins and I just did them for about four minutes aside on my grill on a medium low heat. And then I used my meat thermometer and I temped them and I took them off at about 140 degrees and they've been resting. So they've been resting at least five minutes. So that temperature will increase to 145, which is a nice pink medium rare. Then I'm just gonna slice them up. And they're gonna go right on top of our salad. going to top with some more salsa. Some more salsa over the top. And then some ranch dressing. And that is it. And then you could always do some tortilla strips if you like. Something like that to make it a little more fancy. But this is our top round ranch steak salad. Perfect for the grill. Perfect for July steak month. So head to beeftips.com for all of our Wisconsin Beef Council grilling recipes. Thanks, Angie. Happy 4th of July to you. And what's the weather going to look like? Man, that looks so yummy. It's going to be a little hot outside for the 4th of July, a little humid also. Now, this afternoon, we will reach about 90 degrees. There is a slight chance for an afternoon or evening shower or thunderstorm. Otherwise, uh, this partly cloudy sky condition just continuing on. Tomorrow, mostly sunny for the 4th of July. Highs will stay in the low 90s for Saturday and Sunday. Our alert days are due to those heat index readings creeping into the mid to upper 90s potentially getting close to the triple digit mark. Monday still in the low 90s with partly sunny skies, another slight chance for a shower or thunderstorm, and then better opportunities for rain building in from Tuesday through Friday. Plenty of dry hours mixed in as well, but during the afternoon and evening, we will have the chance for showers and thunderstorms almost every day. Overnight lows will be staying in the upper, upper 60s, so I think most of us kind of run in the AC full time at this point. Yeah, summer in the city, that's for sure. Sunny All right, in. thank you, Dana. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a happy 4th of July. We'll see you back here at 4. In the meantime, have a safe afternoon.